What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Dr. D-Dub here and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Today is Horn Day, aka the merchant shows up today and I kind of want to make some stuff happen, like big things happen. We have to sell some more crates worth of goods to progress the storyline, but we also have to create a third pallet, or no, not a third pallet, get our third fame so we can build a third pallet, I think that's how that works. But in order to do that, we need to make up 10 more flyers. Do we not have... Hold on. Maybe the pen and ink will get back. I'm hoping. Yes. Okay. Or... Yeah, this just takes durability, right? Off the pen and ink? That's how that works? Or did we just use up all of our pen and inks? That might be the case. Can I make any more? No, we used all of our pen and ink, so we'll have to make more of that. That's okay. But we need to get going, and I'm pretty sure that we have to grab some flitch. I think it's like six flitch per pallet. And so getting... Whoa. Cabbage soup is ready. Yummy, delicious, beautiful. Uh, what was I saying? I need flitch, and I think it was six per, so I'm going to bring 12 with me. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's let's double what I think I need, just in case. It still stacks. Also, I've got a bunch of crap to get rid of. I don't know why I didn't do that. But off to town we go. I could take the shortcut. And actually, I'm going to take even more of a shortcut and just warp to town. Because we can and why not? And then we have bodies coming. Ooh, it's exciting. And we have spices to give to the merchant. Today is an exciting day. Okay, so we need to do the marketing campaign. Voila, and now we have three fame. And now we can build two pallets. This isn't use fame, does it? One, two. We still have three fame? Okay, it just requires... Beautiful. That's so nice. And it did only take six. I was just making sure. Yeah, we shouldn't have anything here. Nope. Okay. So I also, while we're here, and while the merchant's here, I wanted to purchase some more silk. And crap. Is it... Is it two per bench or four per bench? Regardless, I'm pretty sure this will either get us two benches or four benches. I think it's at least two per for the silk benches for the church. You know what? We're just going to buy it all. Because we can. And then is there anything else I wanted? Grape seeds? Nah. I think we're good. Cool. Okay. Time for the fun stuff. Uh, talking business. Ah. Okay, let's do the uh, the cure first. I, I guess. I don't think it's going to matter. But let's go ahead and do the cure for his curse. Here, I brought this cure for you. Clotho told me it would help. Mm, let me try it. I'll just sprinkle it on these fried grasshoppers. Ew, that's disgusting. Mm, delicious. Even tastier than before. Thank you so much. So, where did you get this precious ingredient? I just made it myself. All it took was some alchemy and a bit of common sense. Is he lacking in that or something? Interesting, interesting. I see many possibilities here. We're going to expand our business ventures. Ooh, perhaps. This flavor could open many gates. Even, perhaps, the palace gates. I'll need to arrange a dinner for some of the royal council members. And that's where I need your help. I need you to cook a great dinner for five people. Just make some snacks, a main course, and some dessert. But they should all be of the highest quality. Oh gosh, gold quality everything. Why me? I'm no good at all at this cooking stuff. I can trust no other soul in the town. The stakes are too high. Oh, why don't you just jump? 
<laughs> ha, get it? Why don't you cook it yourself? Nonsense! I'm a foodie, not a cook! Don't worry, you can do this. And that spice you made, it'll make this dinner unforgettable. Such faith he has. Okay, bring the merchant five gold star dinners. Is that an actual item? Dinner? Or do we just have to make dishes that are gold quality? Our company has become very well known. It has, thanks to me making flyers. Great, now I see why the baker gave me a free pie this morning. People are starting to talk about our products. High quality. Too bad we can't sell more than 10 crates per week. Darn the license restrictions. But the better fame we have, the better price I can get. Soon we'll be able to think about expanding our production line. Oh man. That's exciting. You know, the town does not live by bread alone. Okay, cool. So now we have to just sell more crates and then... Man. Alright, so now we need to start selling crates. We've only sold one, so we do two more batches of three. And we have a week to sell them because we're not making one today. At least I don't think we're making one today. Was there anything else we needed from here? No, I don't believe so. You know what? I should have brought uh, our burial certificates. Burial certificates, excuse me, and sold some of them. Because we have like, what, 8, 10, 12? I, I don't know. We have a lot of them. We're sitting on quite a few. Okay, uh, let's take a look at what crates we can make. I have a feeling I'm going to be making crates out of goods from our work yard and not crops. At least not right away. Because we don't have a ton of seeds for these items. Onions, pumpkins, lentils. We don't have a lot of that. But we can do boxes of goods. And a lot of them. Complex iron parts. It's 14. Holy moly. Polished marble. Carved piece of stone. 200 ceramic bowls. Oh my gosh. Is that actually easy to do? What ceramic bowls? Oh, not that. They're made three at a time. So that's going to take forever. But it is just clay and water, which is super renewable. Uh, the ceramic jugs? Those are made here too, right? No, they're made... Are they made out of... Ceramic jugs are made out of 10 bowls. And that's 100 of them? That's so many. 100 jugs or 200 bowls. I could maybe do the jugs. I, I don't know. So many things. I know I have the stuff for the nails and complex iron parts. So I kind of want to do that right now just to make two and call it good. Although using all of our nails is kind of saddening. So I kind of don't want to do that at the same time. We could just make more complex iron parts. That's not that hard to do. Is that a good idea? We have a bunch we can make. It's going to take a ton of energy. But if we make 40 real quick... Oh, man. I always use the words real quick. Uh, you should probably know that that's very loosely used. That's never a quick process. But now we can make... Three... Three more pallets? Or boxes, sorry. Not pallets. They're going on the pallets, but they're crates. So this will satisfy... We'll only be able to sell three next week. And then we've got one extra made. I'm going to head down just to double check real quick because we can. And one thing I'm thinking I want to do this episode, or at least try to do, we've got the ability to make some cooking related dishes that'll give us better fishing, I think. Is that? Yes. Good fisherman. You don't let fish off the hook easily. That might be useful. I don't know. But I'm probably going to make some of those 
or take some of these with me. Actually, I'll take all of them. Oh, and while we're here, let me deposit all that jazz. But I want to finally get the quality fish fillets. We've had some of these quests for fish fillets for so long, and I haven't done anything with it. Especially with the bishop, because I'm pretty sure that's the only thing holding us back right now from progressing the church even further. And I, the fact that there's a big church that you can get, I guess we have the small one right now, I'm not sure, is very exciting. That could be fun. And also, do I have a use for this silk right now? I want to check real quick. What does it take to make these again? Um, it's the soft church bench. Two silk. So 16 jointings. And 32 wooden planks. That might happen this episode. It might not. I don't know. But uh, we should probably sleep just to get some energy back. I know I could just keep eating food, but we're going to have to sleep at some point. So let me go ahead and sleep real quick. Then we'll grab some bait and we'll go fishing. Uh, Actually, crap, I should have looked at the comment. I always do this. I ask for feedback on stuff and then I don't refer to that feedback before I decide to record the episode where I utilize that feedback or where I would utilize that feedback where I too have brushed up on it. But there were two days that fishing was the best. I, I don't remember what days the hopes were. So that's awkward. But let me take all of our moths, our butterfly, and I guess our bee. And frogs can be used as bait too, right? Just to see what gives us the best chance of catching... Oh gosh, I don't even remember what it was. Or what fish it was. We'll find out when we head there though. But I will meet you guys at the super loud waterfall. Oh, wait. Crap. We have a body that's chilling down here, don't we? We have two bodies that are chilling down here. And now they're about to more literally chill down here. In our bunk beds of chillness. Which is awesome. And yeah, we're about to get another one. So I don't know if I should go off yet or not. All right, well, clearly that decision was made. I decided to just wait. And that's at 100%, and we throw him on, and he should stay at 100%, which is so cool. I don't know why, but if we ever make some more zombie juice or something, then we've got full quality bodies that we can inject and mess with and stuff. <sighs> oh, and uh, I did look something up on the wiki, I will confess. The uh, preparation place two and the, uh, what was it, embalming table two or embalming station, whatever it is. Apparently the only change is that, oh my gosh, apparently the only change is that bodies don't decay while on them. So if I take them from a fridge pallet to one of those, they'll never lose quality, which is so nice. All right, though. Hello, wow, waterfall. Super loud waterfall. All right, so we're looking for... Crap, I don't remember which fish I was looking for. Do we have any bait that gets us new fish? No, we do not. So I'm not even going to bother. Unless we want to catch that fish. You know what? Hold on one sec. I'm going to pull up my YouTube comments and figure out what fish I need to be trying to catch. Okay. This is not where I need to be, first off. Okay, so the best days for this are apparently Horn Day or Sunday, and I'm reading a comment from Dr. Judgment, so thank you for this. He recommended going to the spot above the waterfalls, which I'm assuming these are the two waterfalls, and I know there's a fishing spot up here, and I know we're on the wrong day, but I, I'm going to ignore that. And Oh, hello, zombie friend. I'll get out of your way. I better fish here. I don't know if I've done much fishing here. This is a fishing spot like others you can find in the village, river, swamp, and sea. Yes, I clearly haven't been here yet because we have no fish. Oh, and I like that there's not even a third section because this is so shallow or like not deep. Uh, and I need to eat the, uh, hold on. 
Sorry. It's hard to focus while doing this. Uh, I need to eat the fish dish. Apparently that'll help as well with getting quality fish. Silver quality bream. Maybe I don't even have to. That's interesting. Beautiful. Okay though, so just to brush up on this, I need... I think the bishop, uh, part of the comment said, okay, yeah, the bishop needs bronze, and then the, where's he at? The gypsy baron needs silver. So four bronze fish and four silver fish is our goal. Not actual silver fish, that's a thing, but not a thing we need. But let's eat one of those and get the good fisherman buff. I don't know if that's gonna be that useful. Just, I don't have an issue catching fish. Well, at least, I don't think I do. Maybe I'll come across one that I will. But anyway, I'm gonna sit here and fish for a little bit and hope I can get the fish that I need. Also, uh, I don't know if I've shared this, but fishing is, or at least at first, it was very difficult for me. But if you watch, and I've said this before, but I didn't get to really show it. If you watch right here, the hands, they're doing a steady up and down motion, but as soon as they do a little bit of variation, right there, you saw the pattern changed ever so slightly. That's when I click to reel in. So I'm gonna keep fishing. That's my little fishing tip with Doc. Hopefully that helps you guys catch more fish. I don't know why I'm trying to help people catch fish. Anyway, give me a second. Hopefully I'll catch what I need. Okay, it took a while, but we got it. Actually, I caught every fish and we only ended up getting one extra silver quality bream. That's so nice. Wait, does that not, does fishing not pass time? That's so kind of broken. <laughs> you eat a buff for fishing and you just can fish indefinitely. Plus, it doesn't seem like time. Yeah, time doesn't pass, does it? Cause it was, I was there for a little while. It does not feel like time passed. That's kind of cool. Kind of cheap, but kind of cool at the same time. <laughs> anyway, Sunday is coming up. I wanna go make these into fillets. We'll take some of them to the Gypsy Baron. Oh, and I'm just now remembering, we need to go find that guy. Uh, that, I don't know if it's a hunchback or a dwarf, whatever the heck he was. The guy in the, the woods, uh, somewhere up here, potentially. That's at nighttime, we gotta search for him. But I'll probably do that some other time because I'm preoccupied with a million other things right now. I say a million. Two things. The fish fillets of two different qualities. Crazy stuff. But if we go into our kitchen and cut them up, we should be able to get to quality fish fillets, which is so nice of silver qual or sorry, bronze and silver quality. I wish you could do these in bulk. It's kind of annoying that you can't. Like, where's the arrow to make multiples? There is none, which is unfortunate. Okay, but I want to get these made, and then we'll go ahead to the Gypsy Baron. All right, we got them all made. I want to go ahead and drop off the one fish we don't really need to make into anything. And then I guess we can drop off our, our frog and all of our bait that we didn't end up needing. That's useful. And then I don't think we need the fish fillet, or not the fish fillets, we obviously need the fish fillets. I don't think I need the baked fish on me. Yeah, all right. We're gonna head to the Gypsy Baron now, and I think the fastest way is gonna be to, wow, I can't navigate my inventory. Go to the dead horse, and then work our way up from here. I have no idea what this is gonna prompt, or like what kind of quest line this is part of. I also don't remember what voice I used for the Gypsy Baron. So he might be getting a totally different voice today. That's kind of a theme with all the voices I do. They change. They they evolve as I forget things and then pretend like I remember. Okay, so we're going to do this. And then I'm probably going to prep all the materials for the four additional church benches. Wait. Where is this guy? Camp. So he's to the right of this. Okay prep all the materials for the four additional church benches, the comfy, soft benches. And then on Sunday, we can do the thing with the bishop and see what happens, as well as upgrade the benches. 
But first, hello, Gypsy Baird. We have the four silver star fish fillets for you. There you go. The trick is to use a bonfire, not a stove. Fresh air is the key. And of course, a good fish. Actually, you can use any fish, but we're talking about good kebabs. <laughs> Eat these kebabs and you'll be strong like me. <laughs> is this all for a fishing recipe? It is baked kebabs of three different varieties. We've got vegetable fish vegetable, different vegetable fish vegetable, and then fish mushroom vegetable. Crazy. Wow, okay, that was it. That was all we did. Okay, um, what are these kebabs? Baked kebabs gives us tough mood. Incoming damage is reduced. That's kind of cool. Kebab with fish and mushrooms, fish and onion, and fish and pumpkin. Okay, fish and onion's not bad. Fish and mushrooms, even less bad, because that's super easy to do. I should really go grab some wine to keep on us for energy, because right now we have one burger. And that's it. Can this be broken? No, it can't. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a phone call right now, and I gotta ignore it. It's making my desk vibrate like crazy, though. Just thought I'd share. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to the workyard. I almost forgot that word. And make up, what did I say, 16? Oh, we got another body to add. 16 jointings and 32 planks. I should have all the wood for it. I've got two full racks. Ugh. But it might be a little while till I see you again because this might take me quite a bit. Wish me luck. Oh, all right. It's done. That took a long time and just in time too. It's Sunday morning or technically, I guess it's technically Sunday morning. Anyway, can I just say how awesome the world of Graveyard Keeper is? And the fact that I just drank 11 bottles of wine. Not only without getting drunk or super sleepy, but it allowed me to power through my work. Like, what reality is that where you can drink 11 bottles of wine? It'd be expensive if that were the case in real life, but oh, it's, it's kind of awesome. But we have everything we need, plus one wooden plank. But we gotta get rid of these guys. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I went through 11 bottles of wine. That is nuts. Oh, and I'm glad I didn't put planks away. Why did I... Wow. I made all these planks, and here I am getting more planks. Like... That's kind of awesome. Soft church bench. One. Two. Three. And four. That is a beautiful set. Look how comfy that looks. Mmm. Just rest your butt in that comfy silk chair. Made of wood and silk. and No padding whatsoever. Should require like mushrooms. Just stuff the silk full of mushrooms and... I don't know. That's weird. I'm going to start... Actually, do I want to start with my sermon? I kind of want to start with... I kind of want to start with the bishop in case our church gets upgraded at all. So take a close... I don't know if this is going to happen right now, but in case it does, take a close look at the church and its rundown state. Windows are boarded up. We're missing some, some tiles, some shingles. Uh, it's covered in like mold and stuff's growing. The cross on the roof is all messed up and sideways but the bishop take my fish you're my savior I hope that didn't sound blasphemous <laughs> by the way I forget to mention that you'll need to get a building permit to perform any construction upon the royal lands and as far as the permit is concerned, I'm afraid you're on your own. I try to avoid their soulless, greedy bureaucracy at any cost. Wait, what? Okay, do we have to do this here? 
Would that be under aristocrat? Oh, don't. It's probably under aristocrat, isn't it? Oh, building permission. 20 silver. Just kidding. Boom. Done. Okay. Guys, this is happening. I'm ready to upgrade the church. <gasps> good. Very good indeed. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. I'm no fan of this modern architecture. Are we updating it? There's far too much light in here for my taste. Oh, this is cool. But our modern faithful citizens, they'll enjoy it. Mark my words, in ten years, some of them might even learn how to read. <laughs> what a crazy time this is. <laughs> Indeed. By the way, I think you should make a... Make the donation box bigger. And speaking of donations... Are you aware that in order to perform a ceremony in the big church, you'll need to be a rightful citizen? Luckily, I already am. Not really. <laughs> oh, then I must have forgotten to mention it. No wonder. Did I just get British? I don't know what I'm doing with my accents right now. I have so many important things on my mind. <laughs> just show me your rightful citizen papers and I'll gladly open the big church. Okay. I have those. Oh, this is cool looking. It hardly changed. But we got some pillars and... I think it's... Oh, that exterior. Looks so good. Oh, and our graveyard markers are no longer there, showing quality. Maybe that's because we don't have the papers. We have the papers, though. We just need to go grab them and show them to them. Wait, did we get another body that I haven't attended to yet? No, not yet. Oh, okay, what's this? Acceleration extract? One of these days, I'll fancy this up. I keep saying it. Uh, this should be right here, right? Rightful citizen papers. Okay. This is a lot that is happening in one episode. I'm excited. I know it's all like connected. It's all like one thing after the next, but still I'm, I'm excited. So be excited with me guys or else just kidding. Okay. Now they're back. So it just doesn't show as soon as you enter. Oh wait, no, we need to go talk to him. I have them. So about the cathedral, I have my rifle citizen papers. Good. It wasn't actually necessary, I suppose. Who would even know about your citizenship except me? <laughs> That's not fair. Wah. Think of it as a test. A test of your faith, my son. Do you even know how hard it is to find someone who reaches my high standards? Ah, you don't know. But I know. Even my brother disappointed me. But that's a story too sad to be told. I need you to build a cathedral here. A really tall one. You and I, we will perform a great ceremony in this cathedral. So is this like the second stage and the final one is the cathedral? We will pray for the Vimur River to be filled with water. And what, not dead bodies? The town is dying without water. I and I shall save the town. What about the town's cathedral? Why can't you perform this ceremony in the town cathedral? Wait, is there one in town? Well, technically, we don't have a cathedral. Our old cathedral steeple collapsed during the Great Blast. We haven't been able to rebuild it. No new construction is allowed to be taller than the king's palace. I think that's... No new construction is not allowed to be taller. Whatever. But out here, we can build the cathedral with a proper steeple. Cool. Let me guess. I'll need a lot of graveyard quality and a lot of church quality. What a fine, intelligent graveyard keeper you are. Plus, one for team, I was right about you. <laughs> How many do I need exactly? Let me see. You have 30 plus 10, 
carry the three, move the two, then plus five, then, and then let's double it for both sides, and it'll be... Wait, I lost count. Let's just say 50 church quality and 800 graveyard quality. Wow, 800? That sounds like too much. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yes, you're probably right. Okay, we'll, we'll say 200. Wow, I'm, I'm glad we could negotiate there. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Time to start doing a lot more in the graveyard. That means a lot more candle creation. So we can unlock some more carved gravestones and monuments and stuff. That'd be nice, just to fancy the graves up a little bit more. That's 180 if we want to get to the marble stuff. And then 150 more for crypts. That's insane. Okay, though. We can now do sermons here. Are we going to get more people showing up? Are we going to get more money? I forgot candles. That's my bad. Uh, it doesn't look like any more people. We are at max capacity right now, though. Nothing changes. Everything's the same. Yeah, nothing's different. Same faith. Actually, more faith. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so 13. Wow. Okay, let's see if people donate anymore. They might. They might not at the same time. No, less, actually. We used to get like 23 per person. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. That's awesome. This doesn't look that much different on the inside. But... Can we now do wall candelabras? We'll find out next time, probably. Because I don't have the materials on me. And this is where I want to end. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining on today's excursion. I feel like we accomplished so much. This church is going to be so fancy. Especially once we get those stained glass windows. Right? Right. I don't know. This place is going to be fancy. It looks like it's got more room along the walls for some more stuff. So maybe we can make things look a little bit nicer. I don't know. I'm excited, though, for what is to come. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me once again. And I will see you next time. Until then, though, as always, take care. <laughs>